Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about the online quiz game platform Kahoot and how to create your own quiz game. These video clips are from the Kahoot website, but they really are representative of how much students love Kahoot and it's great for students of all ages. Students use their own devices to interact with a Kahoot and what they're looking at is a screen with the questions and options to answer. Uh, this is a, uh, an example of a Kahoot that I made here. Then the students answer on their own device. The teacher or another student can run the game and can narrate what's happening. And Kahoot in general is just a great blended learning tool because it provides an opportunity for interaction, discussion, and just a lot of fun in the classroom. So let's go ahead and talk about how you find or create a Kahoot to use in your classroom. We want to go to create.kahoot.it and up here by clicking discover you can find Kahoots that other teachers have made. So you could just enter a term in the search bar up here. And for example, electricity and magnetism brings up a lot of results here. And you can click on them to find out what the questions look like and what the options look like and uh, what images teachers have chosen. You can either play that or you can choose some options over here with the three dots. You can preview it or you can also duplicate it if you would just like to make a copy and make changes. So let's go ahead and create a brand new Kahoot and we'll click on quiz and for this particular Kahoot, let's call this polygons and you're required to enter the description. I'll just enter a quiz about polygons to keep it short and I'll just keep this private and the audience is for school. Now up here you can choose from free images here. I'll click on math and see what I can find. And this looks like a good one for polygons here. And I'll just say, okay, go. And then it's time to add our first question. So the first question I'm going to add is how many sides does a hexagon have? And then I need to enter some options here, at least two. So I'll say three, four, five, and six. And then we do need to indicate the correct answer. So the correct answer is six there. And then I'm just going to add the same image there just to keep it interesting. You can look for other ones and you can also add your own image. Uh, down here, when you enter that question, you can either edit the question or duplicate the question or delete it. I'm going to duplicate this because I'd like a similar question here. And for this one, I'm going to change hexagon here to quadrilateral. And then of course I need to change the correct answer there and look out because you can choose two correct answers there, but I want this one to be four. And then I'll duplicate one more time and I'm going to call this one, how many sides does a pentagon have? If I can get my spelling right there. And then of course I need to go down and change the correct answer one more time. We'll hit next. And let's go ahead and save this and take a look at what it looks like. You can do preview right over here. And that way you can see both what the main screen will look like and then also what a student screen will look like. And students go to kahoot.it and they enter a game pin. That's the first thing they'll see on the screen. They enter the game pin and then they need to enter a nickname for themselves. They can use either their nickname or their real name or a nickname, and then you can start the game using the main screen. That takes a, a couple of seconds to fire up, but then they see the first question, and then they see the options there, and they need to enter the correct shape or color on their device, and they will get feedback on how they did on that question. And then it just moves through the questions there, and I'm gonna try putting in an incorrect answer so you can see what they see they get incorrect feedback. And then there is, uh, when there are a lot of players, there's kind of a leaderboard and they can see how they're doing. Individual students can see how they're doing, what place they're in in the game. And then at the end, there's kind of a podium there and you can see the results. And that's basically how Kahoot works. Uh, it's really fun, highly recommend it. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.